Hey everybody, this is Jace with RMUS, and again, we're out in the field, and I'm joined here with Bouchon, who is our training coordinator here at RMUS. And what we're gonna do is simulate a search and rescue scenario. So we're gonna give some perspective of what it's actually like to use a Mavic 3T, this is a Mavic 3 Enterprise with the thermal camera, and what that's like actually trying to find somebody who may be lost and seeking help. So what's gonna happen is Bashan's gonna go out up the canyon a little bit, get a little bit off the path, and then we'll launch behind him and see basically how long it takes for us to find him. The other thing that's gonna happen is again, we're simulating he's lost, he knows he's lost, and basically he's looking for help. So again, it'll be interesting to see, do we spot him before he realizes the drone is there? Is he gonna hear the drone before we get there? So let's put Bouchon out there and we'll see how it goes. Hello there, I'm headed off into the woods the beautiful snowy woods of northern Utah and I'm going to get lost. I am lost in the woods and the Mavic 3 is going to try and find me. So sit tight. All right, so at this point he's had an opportunity to go up there and kind of find a position and get lost a little bit. So we're going to put the Mavic up and let's see what it takes to go and find him. Is that... But that's it right there. Is that him? I think, is he moving? I think I'm starting to hear the prop wash of the Mavic 3. I'm about, right now I'm sitting about 200 feet and he has not signaled, um, he has not signaled that he can see me, but that's definitely him right there. Yeah, and he has not signaled. Okay, yep, I can see him right there. Man, that, I, that thermal is just, from the altitude I was at, I was just, uh, you know, that could be something, but maybe not. I see him moving right there. Yep, that's definitely him. I'm gonna punch in, zoom in here on the zoom view. No, you know what? He, um, I'm directly over his head and he, he has not gestured that, uh, that he can hear me yet. So I'm gonna go down a little closer here. And I think he'll be able to hear me in just a sec. There she is. <laughs> yep, there he is. Yep, there he is right there. He just barely noticed. So you can see, I'm in the thermal view right here, right now. You're seeing exactly what I can see. And again, I mean, you're looking at this, especially in this scenario. Yep, there he is right there. And now he's starting to wave. So I did spot him before he heard us, unless he was listening to it and didn't signal to it, but I don't think that's the case. So, yep, there he is right there. And again, I mean, even looking at the difference here, you can obviously see there's, there's really very much of a difference between kind of just these background. You can see the trunks of the trees. These are a little warmer than, than just the straight up background. But you saw his signature when we started to approach it and say, oh, maybe that's him. Let's investigate that. Let's look a little closer. And not only the thermal, but the other thing we're able to do, because we have those multiple sensors built into the Mavic, the wide and the telephoto sensor, is that not only was I able to identify that and digitally zoom with the IR, but I was able to zoom with the RGB and be able to confirm that, that I was actually seeing what I thought I was seeing with the infrared. So as a tool, this is extremely valuable to have multiple RGB sensors coupled with, with the IR, the thermal sensor. It's very effective in this type of scenario. So Bouchon is on his way back. Let's uh, talk to him for just a second. Let's see if we can kind of confirm our findings a little bit. All right, so we're gonna wrap this video up here. I mean, you heard my commentary before about how effective that IR is, but you were out there and I was kind of wondering when did you notice that the drone was above you? I mean, I was about 300 feet above our takeoff point, which is a lot, especially as quiet as this Mavic is. What, uh, when did you start to notice that it was actually coming down? Um, I probably noticed, uh, the first time I started waving when I was down by the creek, uh, I, I probably noticed about maybe four or five seconds after that, I noticed you above me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, if you heard, I, again, I'm gonna go with the idea that 
I saw you before you saw me because I noticed you at an angle. Then I came directly over you and hovered over you for a second. You were kind of just hanging out in your spot. And again, we'll look at this at the edit, but I'm quite sure I found you before you found us. Um, so, I mean, again, this is a testament. You guys saw it of, of the idea of how effective really that this package is, especially for this type of scenario. It's really well-rounded with, with the wide and the, and the telephoto sensor as well as the thermal. It's obviously a massively powerful tool. Aside from that, we didn't even have the speaker attached to get your attention, yeah. right? So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for the latest in drones and robotics news. And of course, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.